Yo, what up? Alright, uh, I'm about to paint the rest of these tapes real quick. Just making some last footage of how they are. These are just a bunch of old use church tapes. And um, I'm about to paint the rest of them. Uh, I'm going to try to save just the ones that say um, Pro Series on it. Like this one says Pro Series. So some of the tape is still good. Just the Pro Series ones. And all the rest I'm going to throw away. And then just paint the shelves. So let me get that done real quick. Alright, check it out. I got all these shelves opened up. I'm taking them apart. And they're all ready to be spray painted. Check it out. Here's all the parts. All the screws. Rollers. Things. And here's all the tape. All the bad old tape that I still have to go through to get these little rollers out. I'm gonna get them out and just cut like right there where the tape starts. Just collect those, have them rolled up just in case I need them for later for parts. All right, so now it's time to spray paint. Uh, I think I'm gonna go 25 green, 25 blue. Red, 25 teal. I don't really want to do no black, silver, or gold. Uh, actually, I'm gonna use the gold for this one right here. This is the only one I found that was like this. It says Pro Gamma on it. I was like, what? I want to check that out. And these are 90 minute Pro series that I saved. That were tight, they're not loose, they're like really tight, so they're still good. Those are all 90 minute pro series. And these are 360 minute pro series that I saved. That are tight. Really good, you know. And then that gamma, and then this one it was different, so I just saved it just to test it out. And then uh yeah, that's it. Now it's just time to spray paint these shells and get them put back together and figure out what tape I'm going to put inside of them. So let me get that done real quick. About to do these ones right here with this really old color I found. It's like orange. It looks red on the camera, but it's like orange. And it's about like this much left in the can right here. So I should have enough to finish these last 25 that I have. I was digging around the house. And Found this in the back of the garage and I was like, hell yeah. So let's try it out real quick. Damn, this thing's spraying weird. Yo, what up? Alright, check it out. It's the next day. And uh, I just let these cassettes sit out here. So let them air out, you know, get all that chemical smell out of them. But they turned out really good. Some of them you can like still see the scratches on them. But you know, you can cover them with the white labels, white cassette labels. And they pretty much cover the whole cassette. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they turned out really good. 
look a lot better than the way they used to look with that ugly faded white. All right, so here's the orange. The orange turned out, um, cause this paint is so old, you know? Like, look at how old it is. So it kind of turned out a little smudgy. Which is actually pretty cool. It gives it like that real old school look. So I actually really like these a lot. Like I kind of like them more than those. This is badass right here. Old school orange. And check this out. Um, found this red paint right here. Along with that. Look how old this is. It says, it says dated in 1997. So this paint is straight up from 1997. So it's really old, you know? And this orange already looks old on the tapes. So I wanna try to like open it up and like put my hands in it with the gloves on and just like do like blood drips on it. Make it look like, I don't know, like Evil Dead, old school orange paint, like old red paint dripping down on it. That'll be badass. So I wanna try to get that done real quick. So I'm gonna try that out, be right back. it out it's the next morning I let these dried up so now it's time to take them inside and we'll go look at them inside real quick all right check it out got them back in the house all right check out these orange bloody ones first <laughs> that looks pretty badass Did both sides. And I did it to all of them. So. sick so yeah these are like definitely my favorite ones I made because the paint was so old you know and that shit looks badass like that oh yeah look at that all bloody that looks sick sick It's like an old school faded orange, all bloody. Those are really badass. So those are those. And I got these green ones right here. They turned out really clean. All the way through. You know? I got these ones right here. These ones are badass too. Clean, pretty clean. I have these blue ones right here.
actually pretty clean. And then they got these red ones right here. These are also pretty clean. Through. Then I got the teal ones right here. So that's all the tapes right there. About 25 each pile. So I threw away all the old tape that was inside of them. It's all old trash. But these are the good ones I saved. And uh, I got these ones right here. These ones just came in. Bam. Brand new, old stock of a hundred. Check these out. These ones say Kingdom on it, so that's why I bought them. Cause I don't want my tape saying Kingdom on it. And then they have like a little dolphin, if you can see right there, on both sides. So. pretty much like that on all the tapes but the tape says um, what does it say right here it says it says it's uh, professional premium plus sorry my camera's all like professional premium plus so the tape inside of it's pretty good 62 minutes so I was like hell yeah I paid 100 bucks for them it's brand new tape, so I could use one row for the green, another row for this green, this row for this orange, and this row for the blue, right? Then I got some more tapes right here. I just ordered these. These just came in. Check these out right here. Right, let me see. These were 33 bucks plus shipping. So like 35 bucks. And here they are. Brand new. What 30 minute tape in each side. I'm going to be using these for my second mixtape. I mean my first mixtape. So these are brand new red ones right here. What tape inside. But I'm just showing these because you know look, it's 35 bucks. For a pack of 25. So like. One row is 35 bucks. But you know like. They're old used tapes. Kind of scratched up. And they just been spray painted. Old used white church tapes. But you know it's still like. I don't even think that matters. Because I sealed the paint on them. With that. Uh, matte clear seal spray. Whatever. So, like, they don't even really get scratched up. So, it turned out pretty good, pretty sick. So, now I just have to put them all together. Put it all together. First, I have to take all these apart. And then, like, you know, put it together. So, I'm going to figure out what tape I want to put in which one. And get them all together. So, let me get that all done real quick. It's going to probably take me a couple of days again. It's a big project. But, it'll, it'll be dope once it's done. And then, I can test the tapes out. So give me a couple days. I'll be right back. Yo, what up? All right, check it out. I got all 100 of those done. And I'm on the last one right here. I just want to show you guys the new parts. Look at that. Brand new tape. Brand new recording sponges. Brand new rollers. Even like brand new plastic. It's right here. I just took all the parts from the old shells, you know? All 100 of them. 
the demonium. So, to all hundred of these tapes here. So they all have brand new tape and brand new parts inside of them. The windows are a little scratched up but and a little painted up. I gotta try to clean that up. But other than that, they're still pretty good. Like these ones are really nice right here. That one I'm gonna um, do the side of the window with red paint to make it look bloody, but you can still see through it. So I still gotta do more work to these, but they turned out really good. So like you know, they're all brand new and they're all colored, and uh, I use most of the parts from these, like I said. So a lot of these parts I just get to save for later, except for these right here, these shells used their original backgrounds so all these i just kept inside of them these little metal plates right here and then these ones i still have to do right so i'm gonna take the tape out of these brand new red ones that i just bought and i'm gonna put them inside the teal all right check it out i got these all done this is how they turned out They all got brand new tape in them. I took all these red ones apart and uh, pretty much use all the parts in them because I'm going to use uh, better parts in these when I upgrade the tape. And so here these are. Right here. All right, so check it out. I also got to upgrade the tape on these red ones right here, right? But I opened up, I opened them up. And check this out. Look at look at look at the way the tape looks on them, bro. Like the tape looks really tight on them. It looks brand new. It looks clean. And I was like, damn, why am I even changing out the tape? But it was like, yo, it'd be better to have brand new tape in them anyways, right? But look at like the quality on it. it looks clean. So I'm like, well, I'll just use these tapes for these blue ones right here, right? I got a bunch. I got 25 right here. And the tape looks clean and brand new. I think they're 90 minutes though. So I'll just make these 90 minutes. And look, these have the black rails. The other ones usually have the white ones. So I'm going to just put all those rails and these blue ones since they look that good. And then I'll have some tape, 90 minute tape for these blue ones. They're not, they won't be new tape. They'll be old used tape, but you know, it looks good enough to me. They look new to me. So. Let me get that done real quick. Yo, what up? All right, check it out. I got that tape reel from that red cassette inside this blue cassette right here. This is how it looks like. It's pretty clean. Using the uh, recording sponges from that red cassette because I'm going to upgrade it when I put the upgraded tape inside of it. And uh, using these old rollers, same old backgrounds that I have. And that's how it looks. Pretty clean, pretty clean. Now I just gotta do the rest. So let me get that done real quick. All right, check it out. I got all the blue tapes done. Here they are. This is how they turned out. They're all 90 minutes. Pretty much all the tape rail, and each one of them was nice and tight. So that tells me that all the tape inside of these red tapes right here weren't really used very much. So I'm thinking about splicing them down to 30 minutes stuff, so they could be 30 minutes like these, like these ones right here, like all these ones right here, all brand new. Original box, original tape, just brand new colored uh, shells. And uh, now I just gotta record music on them and test them out. Uh, stay tuned for my next video where I put brand new tape inside of these ones right here. These bad boys right here. But, uh, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and record some music on these. This beat I got right here that I made. I'm gonna test them out. So give me a minute.
getting them all recorded. Alright, let's try some of these out. Start off with the orange bloody one right here. I'm gonna test it out in this old boombox. like the orange one. Alright, let's check out this green one. It's time to try these two. Uh, I'll do this one first because this one came out of these, which is 30 minutes, and these are 90 minutes, which is, the blue is easy. All right, so let's try these real quick. Alright, 
now last is these blue ones which is using this um, old um, tape old church tape these are church tapes that I found so this tape is really old but it looked really good so let's try it out video for that and then uh, I guess I'll throw all these away and then just save these metal these little metal things right here save them for later use because I don't need these shells you know I mean? they say kingdom on it and they have those pigeons on it on the side I don't need that but I'll save these three minute tapes for later when I find more shells Check this out. I got a bunch of plastic cases. It's the end of the tape. I'll just play it right here real quick. Alright, so I got all these plastic shells right here. Pretty badass like that, you know. Get like one of those old plastic labelers, uh, those old labelers, and you just put a little label right here on this on, on the plastic. Just put like unreleased instrumentals or unreleased acapellas, like rare red tape or something. Sell them for like five bucks each or something. I got a bunch right there, you know what I'm saying? Then I got all these clear shells. Let's go along. These red shells right here. First mixtape, already they be recorded on. Then I got all these right here for my second mixtape, which is the 47 minute tapes that I made in my last video. Go check them out where I saved 100 old church tapes that had bad uh, recording sponges, and I just put the tape aside of these. So these are ready to go, and I ordered 50 more purple uh, cassettes that I'm waiting for them to come in the mail so I'll make a, a video of that and stay tuned for that but yeah that's pretty much it bro it was lots of fun lots of fun making these tapes right here this shit looks badass so if you want to do the same you know you can do the same alright thanks for watching take care love and peace